B96.5, Blaze and Hip Hop and R&B at home of the Russ Power Morning Show. We always blaze the hot new joints first. That is Trina and Monica, always 571B965. And we always want to save you a lot of money with Louisville Half Off. Just log on to our website at B96Jams.com and use the keyword half, okay? Uh, a little bit ago, I told you that uh, I suffered a loss in the family last night, but it wasn't your typical loss. Well, those of you that know me will know that I'm not originally from Louisville, but Louisville is my home and has been for the last oh, 10 years or so. I went to high school and was raised for most of my life in Columbus, Georgia. The school I went to was Baker High School. Last night, I found out that my alma mater at this moment is burning to the ground. Uh, the school was built back in 1945. It served as a military hospital for the uh, Fort Benning Army residents and the families nearby. Uh, they turned it into a school several years later, and the last graduating class was 1991. They closed the school down, and it was scheduled to be demolished to make way for some apartment complexes or something like that and several people have been trying to save it. We had a buyer at one point who ended up backing out, and last night just basically ripped the heart out of me to see my girl, the school that, that shaped me into the individual that I am. In fact, I got my start in radio at Baker High School, uh, burning to the ground. And it made me think about the importance of memories things that are held sacred because even though the building may be gone, what that building represented and the people that it developed are still there. I am so fortunate to, uh, to be able to keep track of a lot of my classmates uh, from the classes that have gone before me, those that came after me and in my own graduating class. Facebook is a beautiful thing, I'm telling you. And you can't help but think about the memories that you have. I'm very sad at this point because I, no longer will I be able to drive by my old location, see my school, and have those memories just come flooding back. I won't have that, that symbol there anymore. But what it stood for was excellence. What it stood for was closeness, and family, and the, the, the students, faculty, anybody and everybody that ever went to Baker High School. And there are some schools like that here in Louisville, and you know what I mean when I say this. The bond that we have will never be broken by a fire, by a city, by developers, or anything. And I guess this is my way of, of, of giving eulogy to my alma mater. And I'm sitting, I know you're sitting there thinking, well, what does this have to do with Louisville, Kentucky? Everything and nothing. Everything in that memories and the people that helped make them are so, so precious. And you have to do whatever you can to make sure those people are still around. My building's gone. My girl is gone. She's, she's going up in flames right now. But I thank her for making me into the man that I am. Wow. <sighs> I, you know, I don't know what else to say after that, but, you know, to anybody that has ever been in a close-knit situation, whether it be school, college, whatever, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Baker High School, the building is gone, but the heart of what you are, what you were, still is in this graduate and every other Baker Lion around the country and around the world. B96.